Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. So Netflix earnings came out last week, and they price dropped dramatically. Last week, I gave you guys a market analysis, a technical analysis over Netflix on exactly what I thought was going to happen. And surprise, 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 Netflix played out exactly how I said it would. So this week is at a very pivotal point in its price in, in its price action on where we had drew it up. So in this video, we're gonna go over a market analysis on how to play Netflix on this upcoming week since it's at a very pivotal price point. If you guys don't remember, Netflix earnings pretty much said that even though they had so many new subscribers subscribe over the last couple of months due to COVID, that price has been skyrocketing over the last couple of months. But Netflix also said that they do not believe they will receive the same type of growth over the next couple of months because a lot of new subscribers got on just to try out Netflix and they do not believe that they will be able to retain those same numbers of subscribers over the next couple of months. Especially if the world start to open back up and people start to go back outside, those uh, Netflix subscriptions might get canceled. But even though they did gain so many of new subscribers over the last couple of months, Netflix is gonna take that money and I'm pretty sure they're gonna put it into the productions to make more Netflix originals. The market analysis tool that we're gonna be using this week is Thinkorswim, that is with the TD Ameritrade platform. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, here we are back on the Think or Swim platform. Right now we have Netflix pulled up. This is the four hour, 180 day chart. That means every bar on this chart is, is the price action of Netflix over the last four hours. And this chart represents Netflix price action over the last 180 days. If you guys go back and watch my last video over what I thought Netflix was gonna do, I drew out this channel right here that Netflix was traded in between, and I was gonna use this as its old support and old resistance lines. If you don't understand what that means, go back and watch that video. I'm gonna leave a link to that right here in the tag. And then I also drew this other line showing the clear uptrend that Netflix have over the last couple of months. So I drew it right here starting at $295.67. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And then on this line, I drew it as a support line for the uptrend because once it touched this line right here, it stayed on the uptrend, came back, touched the line one more time, touched the line three times, touched the line for the fourth time. That means this is a clear sign that this uptrend line is the Netflix support. It don't want to break through this line. It went up to all time high of $575.37. And that's when Netflix earnings report came out and it broke down 17% in a matter of a week. Okay guys, 17 to 18% in a matter of a week. When I drew out this line, Netflix had just touched this old support line one more time for the fifth time. And on the last week video, none of this was here and I drew out the prediction. My predictions line came out pretty much accurate, okay guys? Uh, step four, it ha everything happened sooner than I thought it would. I thought it would take a little longer. I said that it would go down, spike back up, and then possibly break back down through the simple moving average line, the 180 day simple moving average line, which is the green line. So we take these three lines that I drew right here and just scoot them over one day, just one day, everything will add up. It will go down, spike back up to right there, and then come right back down. And right now it's bouncing off the 180 day simple moving average line for the sixth time. Let's zoom in one more time. There it goes. It has an inverted hammer look and it's bouncing right on that line that we drew out a full week ago where I said it was gonna bounce off at. It's bouncing off that line right now at the price of one. $479.95. Let me tell you guys, don't bite into the trap just yet. If it does continue to bounce off this line and go up, you could have a upward trend for 20% over the next couple of weeks, back to Netflix all time high of $575.35. But as I'm gonna teach you guys right quick in this video, this is valuable information. You need to look at multiple time frames. Don't just look at one time frame. You got to look at multiple time frames. What I mean by that is, let's zoom out just a little bit. Right now we're looking at the four hour 180 day chart. If we click this button right here, now we're gonna look at the one hour 20 day chart. 
this chart shows us every bar on here is worth one hour the market is open for eight hours so it should be around eight bars on the track all right now that we're on the one hour and 20 day chart uh all the lines are still true but now netflix is trading below the 180 day simple moving average according to the one hour 20 day chart so it's below i drew a line that netflix could break back down below that uptrend line and back to its old support and resistance lines that can still happen just because it bounced off the four hour 180 day chart does not mean that it's going to go back up because on the one hour 20 day chart it is trading below the 180 day simple moving average and we want to trade above the 180 day simple moving average so if you want to play the bounce i will wait for the confirmation once it breaks above the 180 day simple moving average on the one hour 20 day chart wait on the confirmation that means it's going to break above have a little pullback bounce off the 180 day simple moving average on the one hour 20 day chart and then it it could have the possibility of it shooting back up you could risk the chance right now of this uptrend of 20% on gambling, or you could wait for the confirmation, wait for it to break above the 180 day simple moving chart, uh, buy in Netflix around $5, I mean $515, and take a 14, 13% return. It's much safer that way because it could still go back down. It could come back up, use this as its old resistance. And then break back down like I had drew a couple of weeks ago. And we zoom back out on the four hour 180 day chart. Zoom in just a little bit. The MACD hasn't crossed the five yet. So if you could be patient, if you get in early right now, you're gambling. Uh, you could probably wait for a confirmation, get in at a good price and then ride the wave back up. All right, guys, we're back. And there it goes. That is the Netflix market analysis that we drew up last week and we drew up again this week. If you guys don't want to miss out on any future videos of me doing market analysis, make sure that you scroll down and hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the dream team. Um, every day I'm learning and I'm providing information to all of my subscribers. If you guys have any questions about this market analysis, go down in the comment section. I read every single comment and I won't leave you left out. Also, if you want me to cover any market analysis over stock that you want, make sure that you leave that in the description and I'll try to reach out and I'll try to make a video over that in the upcoming weeks. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.